Hey, welcome to Popcast. My name is Dr. Popular. This is a crowd-sponsored yo-yo show. Huge shout out to uh, Greg Knowles and all the rest of my sponsors over on patreon.com slash docpop. You help make the show possible. Uh, this is a bonus episode and uh, I've got a bona fide uh, yo-yo inventor and celebrity with me. I've got uh, Brendan McGinnis. What's up, Brendan? Yo, what's uh, up? What's up? <laughs> uh, Brendan is a, uh, he's on the Instagrams, uh, sharing incredible tricks uh, as at Hesh God, H-E-S-H-G-O-D. I looked that up mm -hmm. on the Urban Dictionary, and it turns out that Hesh means a skater who does not give a f mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the, uh, um, you know, it, it, I know the term as, as a description of a, of a guy who kind of, like a dirty transition skater, kind of just doesn't really care about his life and he only focuses on skating. Um, and I care about my life, so maybe it's not really that true. <laughs> yeah, you're in college, you're... Yeah, you're... I take showers, you know, it's, uh, yeah. I actually already got out of college. Oh, cool. Yeah, I graduated Willamette University, class of 2017. Um, yeah, it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Uh, the reason I have you on the show is because you invented uh, a yo-yo called the Petri dish, uh, which uh, all of these are going to be probably super hard to see because they're so dark. But uh, <laughs> I got uh, this clear one. This is this is a weird dream yo-yo. Tell us about this yo-yo. Yeah, well, it's, um, you know, I, I've been thinking about the idea of it for a long time. I wanted, uh, I you know, it's kind of a reaction to modern yo-yo design where everything is kind of feels the exact same. It's all competition style, like 56 around millimeters in diameter. It's extra wide. It's got, you know. Sharp edges, maybe. Yeah, and it, and it, and it feels boring. And I want, I mean, not, not, not saying that I don't like yo-yos like that because, you know, I've, I have a lot of those and I, I enjoy playing them, but... I really wanted a yo-yo that was uh, skinny and had a high wall, and it felt like a fixed axle, but it played like a responsive or unresponsive. It played like an unresponsive. Yeah. So this this design would normally be something, especially because I've been playing, you know, like modern responsive so much lately. This is a design that I think a responsive player would think, oh, this is designed for me because uh, of the high walls and and uh, the, I, I think tall yo-yos make for good responsive yo-yos. Uh, but this is actually designed for uh, unresponsive primarily. That's what you're, you're playing. Yeah, mainly it fits a half spec with a six millimeter axle, but uh, it does, um, it, it is essentially designed for unresponsive. Um, I, I take a heavy, a lot of inspiration from the Rec Rev Reverb, which allowed me to, or gave me the idea for this this hollow wall in the center. I also got a lot of inspiration from uh, a return tops, the the Poupon, and you know the 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 canvas was one of the first yo-yos that I saw that had the uh, the Caribou Lodge canvas I had this uh, uh, hollow wall that I'm talking about, where it's essentially it's got the feeling of a wall uh, without the string friction. Yeah, which is this, you know we were we were showing this earlier. Uh, basically, if like if this was all solid surface the string would constantly be rubbing. Uh, but here you've got only just a little bit of place there and a little bit of place there for the string to ever touch. Mm -hmm. So when the string's taut, it's only gonna be friction on that one area, uh, which, yeah. which I wonder would be neat if I like only got the string wear on that one area too. Oh, well it, it you know, if, uh, if you haven't heard already at Worlds, it broke quite a few strings. So in the future, I'm really gonna right be- Right at that same spot? Right at the, right on the lip right here. Yeah. Um, Cause I can even kind of Feel yeah, it a little bit. Yeah, uh, I got I got to sandpaper the ones in the future. I mean, like you know, future future colorways are gonna all be sandpaper right there uh, for string friction resistance. Um, so yeah. so I made a yo-yo called the end, 
uh, which was oh that uh, uh, go on yeah, sorry so, sorry go so on. it was uh, based on Antio's eats it. Uh, and we got a special run of Eatsits that were schmoove grooved. They were, they were the very first yo-yos that were that had a schmoove groove in them. Um, so basically, we took the Eatsit, and which was a pretty good yo-yo, but I wanted to reduce the friction, so we, you know, I had someone remachine them, mm -hmm. uh, and they came to us raw, and we sent them to an anodizer in San Mateo, and they were so inconsistent. And I, I doubt it's the same place you're using, uh, but they were so inconsistent that we actually had them. Uh, acid wash the bath uh, hmm. to de anno them or whatever to like scrape it off and then redo that uh, redo it and we got a better coat we got this weird uh, they were supposed to be orange they came out this really hard to describe brown color but the thing that was really <laughs> most interesting to me about the end the thing that really made the end unique uh, aside from the schmoove grooves was uh, the finish was the most velvety finish and it was because of that uh, anodizing and then stripping them and then re-anodizing them, they had these like little micro diamond uh, sharp edges. Like mm -hmm. just under a microscope, you could see like kind of just a razor sharp edge. And that gave them the most smooth feel in your hand. And I could throw one and break the string in a single throw. Uh, <laughs> and no matter whose, and this sucked because people would be like, hey doc, like I got an end, do you want to throw it? I'm like, yeah, and I'll throw it and I'll just break the string. <laughs> and they had it for months and they never broke the string. And what was happening, uh, was that finish was cutting string, but the only reason it was doing it for me is because my style of play, uh, everybody's at the time, everybody's style of play was on this plane. My style of play was tending to move a lot because uh, I was going behind my hands and stuff like that. So just that little motion there and the spinning and that finish ended up snapping string all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So all, cool, of, all of my eats its or all of my ends have huge dings in them because they just slammed into the ground. That's cool, man. I always heard about the end, but I've I've never played one. So that's neat that you that you designed that. I didn't know that. This is this is cool. This is a cool cool design, man. Thank I, you. I, I like how weird it is. I definitely think it's hard to stick uh, stick out in the market now unless you have kind of something niche and interesting. Mm -hmm. And this is, I mean, tall and thin. Uh, probably fits in the pocket well. Oh, it fits great in the pocket. And uh, one of the one of my favorite parts about the yo-yo is this really flat plane right here, uh, specifically for graphics. You're going to be seeing a lot of graphics coming out out for me. You're going to be seeing hand painted ones and, and as oh. well as machine painted ones for mass produce production. And then I'm also going to be trying to do heat transfer graphics like on a skateboard. Oh man, do you have a source for your heat transfer? Not yet. I'm working on it. You'll see. You'll yeah. Cool. Future developments coming. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, any artists lined up? Uh, yes, uh, Coffin no Knockmare Nightmare Nightmare is doing some hand painted ones as well as uh, you know uh, uh, mass pro mass production printing ones. And Jensen Kimmon is doing a graphic. I'm doing a graphic. Uh, some of my friends from college that I enjoyed their art are doing graphics. Um, yeah, it's going to be taking a lot of inspiration from uh, skateboard. Uh, you know, folklore in terms of art history and, and graphics and stuff like that. I want to look back at uh, stuff like World Industries and 101, uh, Blind, Blind, you know, yeah. all the, all the, you know, some of the old stuff. I, you know, I take a lot of inspiration from Steve Rocco, even though he's a super unethical person, especially how he, he ran his company in the, in, the, in the early 90s. But, you know, he, he managed to take the whole, uh, the whole industry by force with, with a really unique look on on skateboard graphics that had never really been done before, you know, yeah. which is rad. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of went on a tangent about that. But anyways, <laughs> graphics coming soon is the important part. Well, cool. Uh, how can people, um, I, I know you're working on a website. Mm -hmm. uh, for now, how can people get a Petri dish? Well, you can hit me up on Instagram, Heshgod, um, H-C-S-H-G-O-D. You can also hit me up on Facebook, Brendan McGinnis. Uh, the company is called Hesh God Enterprises. Uh, check back on my Instagram for uh, future updates about a website. Um, they're also going to be available on Yo-Yo Expert. Uh, you know, Andre has been gracious enough to sell me a few. The or, coolest uh, dude. Sell a few for me, I mean to say. Yeah, yeah. he is the coolest dude. Uh, means a lot to me. Yeah, thanks Andre, Yo-Yo Expert. Uh, you can keep your eyes uh, I guess on Yo-Yo Expert for some of these, 
uh, or follow Heshgod on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a link to, to that in the doobly doo below. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, keeping sales very underground for now. You know, yeah. it's it's sales uh, through DM. I sold one in a park yesterday. I felt like a drug dealer. It yeah. felt great. Uh, you know, it's something that I've never felt like I'd do in my life. And once it happened, it was like, oh, this is, this is real. You know, I'm meeting up a, with a stranger in a park to sell a yo-yo. So it wasn't, it wasn't just like you were like, hey man, need a yo-yo? Oh no, that'd be even better. I'm going to do that at some point. <laughs> need a yo-yo? Uh, need string? Got yeah. string. <laughs> what you need, Kali? Cotton? Kali. 100% Kali. Well, cool. Thank <laughs> you so string. much. Thanks so much for coming on to the show. Uh, check out patreon.com slash docpop to help support the show. You also Buy get, a weekender. Yeah, you get a discount on uh, all the yo-yos on drpopular.com. If you're a sponsor, you can get 10% off when you buy your weekender. Uh, so sign up on Patreon or just go to drpopular.com. And, you know, who needs a discount? Who needs to save money? Lame. Yeah, I want that 10%. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is us. Brendan. 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 <laughs>